investment of DB Realty, the company has raised 920 crores via the QIP route. Shahid Balwa, the Vice Chairman and Managing Director of DB Realty, joins us now to discuss details on the fundraising. Shahid, hi, good, good afternoon and good yeah. speaking to you after a while. Uh, yeah, can you tell you. us? Good, I'm well. Hope you're well too. Uh, tell us a little bit about this fundraising. Um, how much are you looking to raise? What will the funds be used for? How much of it will be put into growth purposes and how much to perhaps reduce debt? So we have already raised 920 crores via the QIP uh, amidst this uh, choppy market. But, uh, you know, we had uh, uh, investors backing us, mostly global invest investors. And uh, that, that, that is now behind us. Having raised that uh, money, we are now going to use this as a growth capital at DB Realty. Uh, uh, Holdco level, we are already debt free, so we have zero debt at DB Realty Holdco level. We have uh, very insignificant debt at two project level, uh, which will also be, uh, you know, more or less repaid next financial year. So essentially, next financial year on a consolidated basis, also we will be debt free. Uh, this money that we are, uh, we are, we are, we have raised. We are intending to utilize this as a growth capital for for our projects. So you know, unlike other real estate development companies who have a five, seven, eight year uh, life cycle of their projects, uh, our uh, model is different. We are basically uh, la developer of developers. So we provide land to most of the developers in uh, Mumbai who work with us. So the likes of Prestige, now LNT, uh, Adani Realty is also uh, has a project with us. And uh, similar La Godrich uh, properties. So we work with these large developers. We develop our lands or lands that we take up for development, like slums, uh, bring them up to a development stage. And a year and a year and a half, uh, we are able to uh, recycle our capital. Unlike uh, a normal uh, uh, developer who will have to wait, who has to wait seven, eight years, our, our capital is back in a year, year and a half, and then we recycle it to other projects. And uh, take that. Got, got it, uh, Shahid. Uh, you know, just a couple of questions here. One is that uh, this entire money, I presume, will be uh, used for DB Realty itself and not the demerged hospitality arm, right? Yeah. So we are not intending to use uh, this. In, in, uh, so we are not intending to use this capital for uh, the hospitality bit, save and except that uh, in the interagnum, so till the hospitality is uh, uh, companies demerged and listed, we will provide support, but uh, the support is on condition that the money gets returned back to us. That is one. Uh, second mm -hmm. is, the, you know, we have, uh, a, 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 you know, a stream of annuity uh, coming up. So from this year onwards, we will have about 450 crores of annuity coming from rent of our land in uh, in Mira Road. And uh, from, the, from, from two years hence, we will have about 15 to 1600 crores of annuity rental yield coming into DB Realty. So uh, all that rental yield uh, will keep on adding into the uh, into the kitty, which we will mostly, you know, we, we don't need as much uh, as as what we will as, as much as the rental yield for our growth capital, but we would like to return that to shareholders in some form or the other going forward. Okay, so uh, can you tell us about what is the plan that DB Realty has over the next one to two years? Uh, will you be largely focused in the Mumbai market itself? Any more JVs that you're looking to do with any other players? Because there are so many players now entering the Mumbai market, you know, South-based players like Prestige, etc. Any more JVs that you're looking at? So we are already working with Prestige today. Yes. Uh, our, you know, in terms of gross development value, GDV, a term that is used by developers, uh, we have almost uh, 70,000 crores worth of projects ongoing with uh, Prestige in Mumbai under construction. Uh, with other developers, we are actively working with uh, Godrich. We have one project ongoing, which is almost uh, uh, 6,000 crores in terms of gross development value. We have other projects in pipeline where we are in discussions with LNT. Hopefully, uh, you know, some, most of them will fructify large projects that we are working with LNT also. And we are also working with other, uh, you know, developers who are not present in Mumbai, large developers who are, uh, out, you know, based out outside of Mumbai, and all of them uh, look at us as a credible counterparty for uh, projects that they want to undertake in the Mumbai uh, real estate uh, market. Right. Uh, you wanted to earlier raise fifteen hundred crores, right? That was the board resolution. Um, 
So with this 920 crore QIP that you've done, can we expect some more coming in or this is it for fundraise right now? For the, for the moment, this is it because I don't think we intend to raise any uh, money at the moment. Uh, even this money was uh, raised for growth. So it wasn't raised for any particular debt repayment uh, or any other uh, you know, immediate outflow. Uh, we will use this money as a precious resource. And uh, you know, our expectation for, uh, for, for return on capital is much, much higher than you know, other our peers. So we'll, we'll be very judicious in use, using this money and we will be uh, you know, debt-free going forward. Uh, and you know, it is our uh, belief that you know, the real estate business, the, at least the business that we are in, into, cannot afford to have uh, you know, debts. Okay. Can you help us with what is the quarterly sales run rate that DB Realty is doing right now? And what, does, what is the expectation over the next one to two years? So, uh, you know, I, I, we, because the, the nature of our business is different from the nature of the business of our peers, uh, where they have, you know, uh, quarterly sales and uh, pre-sales, etc. Our, uh, uh, you know, the way we look at this business is in terms of cash flow. So, hmm. uh, uh, in this, the, the, this year we have significant cash flow, but the coming years, uh, we, the, that cash flow is going to keep on increasing. We are hoping that uh, it will be uh, at least a thousand crore plus next year, and then you know there, the growth thereafter is going to be uh, not incremental but exponential. All right, so you are targeting thousand crores of cash flow next year itself. What's the value of uh, the unsold inventory and the land bank that you have right now? So uh, you know the the company can be valued in in some of parts. So I can I can you know we have se several projects. We have over 600 acres of land, but I'll just take a few of the land parcels that we have. And our most significant land parcel is the land parcel at Mira Road, which has about uh, five crore square feet of development potential. And uh, uh, today the capital values over there are about twenty thousand rupees a square foot. So you just you know you multiply that and that's about a lakh crore in just one project. Uh, we have several such projects across the city, uh, and uh, the sum of parts of our of our company is uh, you know significantly greater than uh, the the value of the share as it trades presently. We understand that you know the market will uh, have a little bit of time to understand maybe a quarter or two, and when they see the cash flow coming in and uh, the, the balance sheet uh, becoming even more and more uh, visible in terms of profits, etc., they'll probably be able to understand us better. What we're trying to understand is what the realizable value would be because, you know, uh, the projection for what the value for Mira Road would be uh, is slightly different from the kind of realizations that we've seen in recent past at a lot more premium locations like uh, South Bombay and BKC as well. So just wanted your thoughts on what is the so, kind of realizations that you will see Mira going Road, forward? Mira Road is a, is a stable market. We have two projects already ongoing in Mira Road. And the, the realizable capital value today is between uh, 17 to 20,000 rupees, depending on the views, location, etc. Uh, uh, these are all affordable segments. So these are uh, the apartments that we build over there are between 600 to 1200 rupees, 1200 uh, square foot. So this is uh, one to one and a half to two, two and a half crore ticket size. Uh, it is not comparable to the South Mumbai market. These are where there are large luxury projects. Um, our affordable segment is doing exceptionally well. So we are, uh, you know, even in our existing projects, we are seeing, uh, you know, no slowdown. The traction is good. And, uh, you know, coming back to Mira Road, that those projects will, that particular one project will give us, uh, whenever we start, uh, almost about 5,000 crores of cash flow every year for the next 20 years. You know, we were just having this discussion with a couple of other uh, real estate stakeholders an hour or two ago about how the MMR region is seeing huge potential in redevelopment. There are 30,000 crores worth of projects which could get into redevelopment over the next couple of years. Um, uh, would you folks at DB Realty be doing anything on the redevelopment front? I mean, just trying to understand what kind of potential would it be for you? So mostly the redevelopment is in the Mumbai region, not not uh, when I say BMC limits. The MMR region still hasn't uh, <clears throat> does not have the capital values to support redevelopment because there is a uh, intrinsic uh, cross subsidy uh, in that model. But in the Mumbai model, for example, 
uh, there is not three thirty thousand. There is a perpetual uh, thirty thousand crore. There is a perpetual for the next twenty years. You will see redevelopment happening, and the number is much much bigger. It's not even uh, we 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 are not even able to comprehend it. Maybe three lakh crore, ten lakh crore, whatever that number is. But the redevelopment opportunity is there. Uh, just to give you an example, we are uh, right now uh, in Burley. Uh, we have a project with Prestige. It's called the Jijamata Nagar project. We've just started uh, developing that project. It's got four million square feet of development potential. At current uh, uh, capital values, that is forty thousand crores of development in one project. So that thirty thousand crore uh, number maybe has a couple of zeros missing from that. All right, that's uh, crazy. The projections that you're making here, but you know, I just wanted to understand with regards to uh, the portfolio going forward. You have about twenty-eight and a half million square feet. In terms of a residential portfolio, how much of that will be executed in the next financial year? How much will be upcoming out of this where construction has not yet started? So there are, you know, you might be referring to our corporate presentation. So the yeah. ongoing projects that you see will all get completed next year, all of them, literally all of them. Uh, then there is uh, upcoming. Uh, those are projects that we will start uh, over the next one one and a half year. Those are land banks that we already have owned or have rights to develop. So uh, those will be separately, uh, you know, as and when we when we launch those projects with partners. So in our ongoing projects, uh, we already have partners. In our upcoming projects, we are working with LNT very closely. Uh, we are obviously working with L uh, Prestige very closely. Uh, we are also in discussions with the uh, with Godridge on a, on one project. So those projects, as we as 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 time goes by, in the next two three quarters, we will keep on announcing the partnership with. Uh, uh, existing partners uh, on those projects. All right, uh, Shahid, uh, great speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining us and all the best with the plans that you have at DB Realty. All right, let's take a quick break on that note. On the other side, we'll put focus on the electoral bonds data that is shared by State Bank of India to the Election Commission. More on that coming up.